Hey guys, it's Blub again. Hi, it's me. Back on my YouTube channel for another banger fucking video. Uh. <coughs> 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 I'm still sick. Uh. I hope I get over it soon because it sucks, but. <sighs> Anyways. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about yet. <laughs> I kind of just started recording, and I was like, mm, maybe once I do my little introductory bullshit, maybe I'll have something in my head, so I could just start spitballing, you know? No, no, I didn't. Ooh, now I gotta pause the recording again, because I gotta think of something. Okay. I guess I'll just talk about shit that's happened while I've been in school. Through my whole school life. Yay! I don't know why I keep doing that. It's stupid. Uh, okay. I guess I will start from... Uh, fucking pre-K to wherever the fuck. Because... Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to look in the fucking archive of my mind. The archive of our own, but it's my mind. Uh my mind isn't full of fan fiction, okay? I, I swear. <coughs> but anyways, I will just go through the archive of my mind and see if I find anything worth talking about. So, pre-K. Uh. God. I'm so sorry if that's annoying or gross to you. I just... I can't take a Benadryl else it's gonna make me fucking sleepy. <laughs> But, <clears throat> so when I was in pre-K, you know, I was a good dull little child. I was, uh, a joy to be around. So, I remember this one time, or actually no, this was multiple times during pre-K. You know in pre-K, you got your fucking nap times because you're still a little baby and you still need to take a nap. We had those, so, um, whenever we would wake up, I was usually one of the last ones to wake up, I don't know why, but every single time, this one specific girl would always wake me up by stepping on my hair, and keep in mind, when I was in pre-K, my hair was not very long at all. It was very short, and it was very curly. So, by no means was my hair long. <laughs> so, it almost felt like she did it on purpose. And I think she did. Fuck you, Whitney. <laughs> Kidding, because it's in pre-K. I'm not going to hold a grudge from pre-K, but I still think it was on purpose, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I was the only kid that had red hair, and I was just... just, just ow. Fuck, ow. Uh... <laughs> I was just so cool. No, I wasn't. Um, there's another time where, you know, we were having our little play time, because that's all you do in pre-K. You learn how to fucking read, color and shit, and you play. So what we had to check on behavior was this multicolored ruler. And there was three different colors on the ruler. It went from, like, green to yellow to red. And all of us had a little paper clip, a wooden paper clip with our name written on it. So if you did something bad, you got uh, put down a level <coughs> on the little ruler. And it depended, like what the offense was, first you'd get a warning and then you get moved down, or like if you hit a kid or something, you immediately got put down to the yellow. So, one day, I wanted to play kitchen, and they had this little kitchen stand thing over there, and I really wanted to play on it, but there was a kid already there, and I was just so mad about it that I, that I hit the kid, I was like, I want to play. This was the only time I was ever bad, by the way. Okay, I'm a really good kid. <laughs> but I, I hit him, and he started crying. I didn't even hit him that hard. <laughs> but 
he started crying, and then we went to the teacher, and she hit me, and <laughs> I don't know why, but I was just being so pouty about it, I was just being a little cunt, and, and my teacher, you know, she, since I'm just, just a tiny little baby, she had to kneel down and get on my level, and was like, did you hit him, and I was like, no, when I obviously did, so she was like, okay, I'm gonna have to put your name down on the ruler, and I just went into a fucking hissy fit. I was crying. I was screaming. I could not be consoled. They had to put me in a little calm down corner so I could fucking shut up. <laughs> but it, it, if you like, if you behaved good enough for a while, they would put you back on the green. <clears throat> so after playtime, where we're going to read. So I went. I was pouting all the way there, going in the little circles and crisscross applesauce. And I noticed, uh, my name was still on the orange. So, there was two teachers in that class. And, well, one of them went over to start reading and stuff, and they didn't put my name back up. Uh, back up. I literally let, like, <coughs> You need to put my name back up on the green. And I don't know why she did it, because I was being just a tiny little bitch about it. But she did it anyway, so I was happy. Um, and then I think this is the final one from the pre-K saga of Blub's life. Um, so, we were doing this little... Uh, student teacher conference type thing <coughs> pardon me but we we're having this student teacher conference type thing where uh you know uh the teacher sat the student down and they started talking about what they were doing good and how they could improve in some areas you know <coughs> standard shit <sighs> So, um, the teacher was going to do it with me, and I was like, first, I was like, uh, can I please go to the bathroom, please, first? And she was like, yeah, 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 sure. I went to the bathroom, but I couldn't pee for some reason. So, you know, I slipped my pants back on, went back outside, do, 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 do. I sat on the chair, and then I pissed myself. <laughs> So I was just kind of, I sat there for a second, and I was, and I was like, um, miss whatever the fuck. I said it really professionally, I remember, I was like, um, miss uh, whatever the fuck, I peed on myself. <laughs> and she was just like, oh, okay, well, we'll go, go get your, uh, change of clothes, because every kid had to bring a change of clothes, since, you know, we're still pre-K, barely out of fucking diapers, <laughs> but ev every kid had to bring a change of clothes, <clears throat> so she's like, go get your change of clothes, and then, um, <clears throat> uh, my, the other teacher will go help clean you up, and, I'll clean this mess up. <laughs> and I just thought it was really funny how professionally and how calm I said, I peed myself. Like, I, I just still think that's so funny. <clears throat> but, uh... <clears throat> now we're moving on to kindergarten. Kindergarten was pretty cool. We got snacks and we got nap times for like half of the year. I don't know why they stopped the other half of the year, but <laughs> whatever, I guess. <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> fuck me. But in kindergarten, I kind of went there a little late in the year, so, like, everybody else was there, and, you know, they were whatever. I came in really, not really late in the year, but a little later in the year. I didn't go, like, immediately. 
So, you know, I was, I was really shy and I didn't know how to conduct myself because I was just so shy. But, um, I remember my first day there, I, uh, there was two segments of the class. There was the first segment in the class with one teacher, which I had that teacher, but I cannot remember her name for the life of me. I will just call her Miss D. And then the other side of the room, which was another classroom with other students in there, that was um, <coughs> Mrs. Jones's classroom. They're really good friends. It's nice seeing their dynamic. But my first day there, uh, she, uh, Mrs. D, I was in her side of the room primarily, she was like, uh, well, how about you go line us up so we can go to Mrs. Jones' room? And I was like, oh, okay. And I kept on, like, turning the wrong way to, like, get into the line, so... Mrs. D just eventually got so frustrated with me that she grabbed me by my arms and flipped me the right way. And it was, like, so forceful, I started crying. Because, of course, I did. And I just got up in the line, and I just acted like it was no big deal. But, like, fuck, man. <clears throat> Shit was rough. <laughs> but, uh... <sighs> Uh, I know there's other shit when I was in kindergarten, but I can't remember what. I, okay. There was this one time where we were doing stuff in class. We were about to, like, you know, start doing some, like, fun exercise or whatever. Uh, so, we started doing that, and so everybody had more space, my my teacher moved the projector out of the way, and under it was a cracked egg. It was literally just an egg yolk under there. And my teacher had everybody sit down, and she she started interrogating us, like, why was there an egg there? Who put the egg there? And I don't know. I, I just remember it so vividly. Like, and I'm even still thinking, like, why why was an egg there? But <clears throat> I think some kid named, like, Pavel or something. Russian kid. Pretty cool. But holy shit, he's in my high school. I didn't even realize that. Anyways, um... He had did it as, like, with, like, some other boy as, like, a prank or something. And they got the red card immediately. It was sad to see. But, uh, yeah. Is there any other... Times? Oh, yeah! You know those little fucking clip-on berets that you put in your fucking hair? I used to clip those to my eyelashes. <coughs> and I remember specifically... I had these, like, blue sparkly ones, and I would clip those on my eyelashes, and I would pretend like I was Glaceon, and I would start blinking a lot, and I was like, oh my god, I'm Glaceon, and of course my teacher was like, uh, what the fuck, <laughs> and I got them taken away, but, uh, I, I just remember getting in the car, and my teacher having to explain to my parents that I was clipping berets onto my eyelashes and pretending I was a Pokemon. Fucking funny. <laughs> but, uh, what else? What else? I know there's more. This one kid. Cannot remember his name. But he had that certain look to him. You know the look I'm talking about? Like, 
he was blonde, he looked like he was 30 when he was, like, fucking seven or whatever, and, like, he had the spiked up hair, like, fucking got to be glued all up in that shit, that shit was not moving, but <laughs> it was always really weird with me in kindergarten, and one time I went to the bathroom, because we had, like, the bathrooms in, in the kindergarten room for all the kids, since, you know, they didn't want to go and walking out to the bathroom by themselves, since they're so little, I assume, but, um, we had bathrooms in the classroom, and usually the door for the bathroom is, like, closed, like, the main door that leads into the boy's stall and the girl's stall. So, like, it was open this time, so I just kind of assumed, like, oh, it's open, so I should leave the door open. I was like, okay. So I went into the stall, locked the door, did my business, whatever. <coughs> God damn it. Anyways. I went into the stall, did my business, came out, washed my hands, whatever. And then that same boy, whenever I walked out, you know, he walked up to me and he said, I could see your panties. Like, who hurt you? Like, I'm being entirely serious. Why would a little kid like that randomly point that out? In such a fucking creepy way. I. There was something up there. That's not even funny anymore. That's like, they, there was just something up there. I hope that kid's okay. But yeah, that was a. Uh, quite odd. And even as a tiny little child, I knew, like. I was just like, what? Huh? What? That's not right. <clears throat> well, I, was, I also remember in this in this class we had, you know, our own little kitchen and stuff. And in there was an empty bottle of like Looney Tunes brand fucking vitamins or whatever. It was empty, of course, but it had a picture of Bugs Bunny on the front. And of course. It had one of those, like, child lock caps. And so, it just became a challenge to fucking everyone in that classroom. We were like, we need to figure out how to open this fucking bottle. And we all never did. <laughs> it never happened. Never. Ever. Not even once in the year did anybody get any, like, anywhere close to opening that bottle. And we <clears throat> we were all thinking that there was some going to be something, like, really, like, cool and strange in there. And I doubt that it was literally... I, I, I doubt that there was anything in there. It was probably just... Literally just empty. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, is that it for my kindergarten shit? Yeah, I guess it is, because I can't think of anything else remarkable. Oh, no! Wait! Uh, when I was a kid. Kindergarten. Still kindergarten. I don't know why I said when I was a kid. If this was all when I was a kid. You could even still consider me a kid if you want to, even though I'm, like, fucking, like, 16. But, like, <laughs> but uh, I was, uh, we were all sitting down. We were doing something on the whiteboard. It was something about bugs. And I, my mom had put my hair into a ponytail that day. And I just love swooshing that ponytail around because I could feel it on my, like, my neck and stuff. And I thought it felt nice. But there was this girl behind me. And I just kept on smacking her in the face with my ponytail. And I wasn't even doing it intentionally. Like, I didn't mean to smack her in the face with my ponytail. I was just enjoying myself. But it, uh... We got to the point where she got so fed up with me, she grabbed my ponytail, she pulled it as hard as she could, and she just left me just fucking sobbing. I was so fucking, it hurt so bad. <laughs> but it was funny though. 
I kind of deserved it, even though I didn't know what I was doing, but, like, come on. Now we move on to first grade. That's fun. So... In the first grade, I had this friend named Nicole. Well, she was pretty cool. She looked like uh, a, an older version of one of the twins on Full House. You know what I mean? Well, I know it's just like one character, but like it was like the Olsen twins. Whatever. You know what kid I'm talking about? The little baby, the little, the little girl. But she looked like one of them, but just a little older, and she just, like, she was a, she was an average, average first grader, you know, she would, like, pretend she was, like, a vampire and stuff, and, like, of course, I, she was, like, one of my only friends in that class, or at least the only one I can really remember, so I... <clears throat> so, of course, I wanted to, like, you know, be still be friends with her, even though I thought the vampire stuff was a little weird. So, I just played along with it, and I pretended I was a superhero that was, like, a million years old. Because she was a vampire who was a million years old and stuff, and yeah. She drew me a Hello Kitty once. It was very nice. I colored it in, but it was very sweet. But, uh... Of course, when you're in first grade, you know, you have those, like, tiny little, it'll be the baby crushes, and you're just like, will you marry me? And they say, like, yes, because, like, you don't know what the scope of marriage means. You just know that your mom and dad are, like, probably married. And that means that you like each other, so. <laughs> so, she was married to this little boy named Angel, and, like, uh, we were on the playground one day, and they were, like, off to the side of the building or whatever, and I saw them kiss. I saw it with my own two eyes. Uh, <laughs> like, even as a kid, I'm just like, uh, why, why are you doing that? How do you even know how to do that? No. Uh, ow. Fucking funny bum. Ow. But yeah, that was weird. Uh, and, um... I remember we had a talent show. We had a talent show. And Nicole did... I think it was just karate. I can't remember if it was anything like specific or anything. But I remember it being karate. So, she you know, she went on stage to, like... Do her little karate moves, ha ha ha, you know, nothing like that because that's not like I don't know karate, so you know what I mean. But um, uh, so um, okay, felt like my timer just like restarted itself. Anyways. So, when we got back to the classroom, you know, she had to change out of her, um, little garb to, back to her regular school clothes, you know? And there was this one kid, I can't remember his name, and I don't care to, but, uh, um, while she was changing in the little storage area... I think it was a storage area. It was either a storage area or a bathroom. But while she was changing in there, this dude started looking through the cracks of the door. I was like, what the fuck? This is first grade. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is this even happening? It's not even funny anymore. I'm still just so perplexed by it. Like, what was going on? <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I just do not get it. I don't understand. 
But there was nice times. Because I remember one day. Um, I was kind of a little bit sick. Sick out of snifflies. Hold on, wait a second. The sneeze never came. Anyways. I had a little, I had a little case of the snifflies. So, I, uh, my mom had gave me a Benadryl before I went to school, and she was like, you gotta be careful, it's probably gonna make you a little sleepy, I'm like, I fine. <laughs> but, when I got there, and the first graders, we all had, like, our, uh, what was it called? We all had our, like, what do I even call it? I, I guess I can call it an elective, but it's not really. It's just, like, one day we had PE, the other day we had music, the other day we had art. You know, that shit. I can't remember what they called it at the school, but I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that, like, we were one of the first people to go do that. The first graders, so, um, <sighs> I was getting really sleepy around then, and we had gym, and I knew I wasn't be gonna be able to do gym because I was just so tired. So I asked my teacher, her name was like Misha Leash. God, she was so old back then. She's probably dead now. Yeah, that's sad. Oh man, I made myself sad. <laughs> Anyways, um, I had, I had asked my teacher, Miss Leash. She was, I was like, my mama gave me a pill, and it made it made me really sleepy. Can I stay here for, 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 for PE so I can, like, take a nap? And she was like, sure, I guess. And I was like, thank you. And I got my, my big old puffy princess coat and I laid it over myself as I went to go sleep on the carpet. And by the time I woke up, everybody had walked back into the classroom again and we were about to do our whole, like, <clears throat> morning routine of like in first grade i don't know if anybody else did this but i'm sure <coughs> but you like say the <coughs> fuck as i was saying we did our little morning routine where you like say what day is it what year is it what's the weather gonna be like today talking about like doing a little group reading talking about shapes or whatever shit like that so, we were doing stuff like that, but I was still asleep. So, everybody came in, and they all sat down on the carpet to do that. And they all sat around me. And some one of the kids came, like, they started, like, rubbing my shoulder so I'd wake up. And they were like, uh, Bob, it's time to wake up. And I just, I just think about that, and I'm just like, that's so cute. That's so sweet. And I had, like like the sleeping marks of like sleeping on the carpet so like the, my, the whole side of my face and like my arm and stuff was just all red and bumpy and I think it was really funny we laughed about it because we were little kids and everything was funny but my sinuses are fucking me over today so I'm just gonna leave this out of like a part one or whatever so uh enjoy and i'll come out with another part of me talking about my school experiences whenever i decide i'm gonna do it yeah